opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. c5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen's side. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the e6 pawn and controls the c6 square. x5 captures the d5 pawn and attacks the c4 pawn. Cx d5 captures the d5 pawn and controls the e6 and c6 squares. d6 supports the c5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d4 and e5 squares. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. And d2 controls the e4 square and prepares to move the knight to the c4 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. This prepares the bishop for development. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is best. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to kick a knight. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a blunder. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This defends the attacked knight. It is best. This leads to losing a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a rook. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. That knight was free for the taking. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.